Okay, Pascal's triangle. Pascal started off by putting a one on a page. Then he made this triangular shape. And he started by putting a one down below and another one down below to make a triangle shape. And he simply added the numbers directly above it in a triangle form. So the number above this in a triangle form is just one. The number above this one in a triangle form is one plus one or two. The number in a triangle form above this one is simply just one. I'm going to erase those triangles. We're simply adding the numbers above it. One, one plus two is three. Two plus one is three, one. One, one plus three is four. Three plus three is six. Three plus one is four, one. And this has some interesting properties. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to call this row number one, then number two, then number three, then number four, then number five. So we're starting off on those row numbers. And we have n's for those rows. In the first row, n equals zero n is always one less than the row number. Then we have n equals one on the second row, n equals two on the third row, n equals three on the fourth row, n equals four. It turns out that there's some interesting patterns. <coughs> Excuse me. The first one is that two to the exponent n 2 to the exponent n, 2 to the 0, equals 1. 2 to the 1 equals 2. 2 to the 2 equals 4. It turns out that if we were to add the numbers in the rows, we would get 2 to the n number, which is 1 less than the row number etc. 2 cubed equals 8 and you could add up all those numbers. 2 to the 4 equals 16 and again you could add up all those numbers. So Pascal's triangle, what are some other interesting characteristics? Well it turns out that if we say r equals 0, not to get confused with the row number, r starts being 0, then r is 1 more than that, then r is 1 more than that, then r is 1 more than that, then r is 1 more than that. We get this interesting pattern. So the triangle created above, Pascal's triangle, can be replicated following the formula ncr. N C R, whereby the first item is N zero C zero. N being zero in the first row, the first number in big red, one. Zero C zero is one. Now working on the second row, now N in the second row is one. So we have one. C, and then R, the first item in the row, is 0. And then again, N is 1 in the first row, and the second number is 1R number above that, 1C1. And this continues into the third row when N is 2, 2C0, 2C1, 2C2. Continuing in the th fourth row, when n is 3, 3c0, 3c1, 3c2, 3c3. And again, in an NCR Pascal's triangle, that is the pattern that is created. Very interesting. We're going to be using Pascal's triangle uh, for specific questions based on it or for what's called the binomial expansion, where we're specifically going to be looking at the numbers in the rows, like above, big red, 1, 2, 1, and 1, 3, 3, 1. 